Looks like they got themselves cornered, or were committed to the position. I'm going with cornered. There's nothing here. No load bearing columns either. Sir, if we're supposed to blow this place, this ain't the spot to do it from. Dot, check your vector. Vector confirmed, Commander. We are precisely where Oni has directed. Apologies. Coordinates revised. Please confirm. Revised? By an AI of unknown origin, whose clearance is well above my own. Well, it's pointing us a click and a half east and 2,000 feet underground. I didn't bring my shovel, Commander. Sir, I say we go AI free on this one. Obviously, these coordinates are junk, and the longer we go chasing them. What is this, Dot? Our revised route, Commander. All right, we came this far. Your new AI friend tell you anything else, Dot? Dot. She's been expecting you. That's perfect. Apologies for the unusual security measures, Commander, but the stakes demand it. Dr. Halsey, casualty reports have you listed as... Yes, well, as they say, news of my death has been greatly exaggerated. I only wish the same could be said of the rest of Noble Team. We all do, ma'am. It may please you to learn that the data module Noble 2 procured from Visegrad Station contained precisely what my scientist promised. A latchkey discovery. It has unlocked, at last, the secrets of this excavation. Not sure I understand. Your orders were a pretext to bring you to me and have been overridden. You are here, Team Noble, to ensure the delivery of this vital data to a secure location. Doctor, our orders are to destroy all sensitive material. Others will handle the demolition. I'll need to confirm this new directive with command. Colonel Holland will be briefed. You belong to Oni now. Before you is an alien artifact neither human nor covenant in origin, advanced beyond our comprehension until now. Thanks to Noble 2, the decrypting of its data is nearly complete. Whatever we're doing down here, we'd better do it quick. Have your data ready, ma'am. We're coming to you. The decrypting process is still underway. I don't think you understand. We're out of time. If it isn't portable when we reach you, it's gonna get buried. Bury any of it, and you bury mankind's best chance for survival. Commander, you've been wondering what your Spartans died for? They died for this. Please, buy me all the time you can. Alright, so, um, last part of this mission, and this is going to go on, uh, for a good ten minutes. This is where your sword really comes in handy, so, uh, make sure that you still have that, if you don't, um, like to be you, uh, you can still get by, it's not all that hard, but, you know, it helps. Um, yeah, so there's four turrets. You gotta put those online. Um, those, those do a little bit, but not all that much. Um, and when they get too much damage, then they'll go offline and recharge or whatever. And then um, you need to wait like two minutes or so. So I almost got those on. Out of 
Um, near the end, I also speed this up too. So, because uh, I don't want to have like a 40-minute video, because then it would be a kind of weird time frame so splitting. And um, like I said, I um, in a previous commentary, I use a special program for splitting my videos. So. So yeah, um, pretty much the whole time, unless you're uh, getting a turret, which I don't even really advise if you're playing on a higher difficulty, because they're not really worth it, um, just stay up here. Uh, there will be a Spartan laser up here. Um, well, that's another thing that kind of is weird about this game compared to the others, um, according to timeline. Like, in uh, 1 and 2... They didn't have a Spartan laser, and then in 3, they did. ODST didn't have one, but I guess that makes sense. And then, um, this, this one does, and this came before the other ones. But I, I don't know. It's not, not really that much to worry about. Um, it starts off pretty easy, just like one or two brutes, and then bunch of uh, whatever those things are, shield, jackals, whatever. Um, pretty soon now, like, there's gonna be a ghost that'll come, and then um, you just need to kill the person inside of that, and then it's really easy because you just get in the ghost, um, go back to the base area, um, where we're at right now, and then um, just light people up with the ghost, and it makes your job a lot easier. Um, I took that Spartan laser, um, because there was a wraith, and, um, I tried to kill it, but I couldn't find it, and it turns out that the wraith never actually even, like, aims for you, it just kind of shoots around in the sky, make, like, makes things more dramatic, I guess. Um, so you don't really need to worry about that. Just make sure that, like, you're not standing up against the wall, because, uh, then sometimes it might be able to hit you. If you look in the bottom right corner, you can see the health of the turrets. Um, but like I said, I don't really worry about those. I mean, uh, they're, they're actually pretty good and they survive most of the time. Uh, they didn't really do a whole lot, but, well, as far as I know anyway. I mean, I was back at the base pretty much the whole time. So let's see, I think I speed this up pretty soon. I'm going to speed this up in about three minutes. I already have this all edited, I'm just recording my uh, voice now. Um, also, uh, the commentary for the next level will pretty much explain what happened in this level's cutscene. Because if you don't if you've never played the first game, you're not going to really get it. Um, so, it, it might be a spoiler. So, ne next video, or ne the video of the next level, is going to be a total spoiler fest. So, don't watch it if you don't want to be spoiled. That's your warning. I also put an annotation there, because I don't want to ruin the game. But, uh, I'm going to kind of explain the cutscene as best I can. And, yeah. So uh, that'll be a lot to cover, but it Hold should on, take up most of the time. I actually really like the next level. It was a ton of fun. All right, just a minute here. We're gonna be speeding things up. Um, you, you can kind of hear the uh, ghost in the background uh, using like that uh, boost thing that it has but I didn't really know where it was where it was at the time it 
There's a flaming mongoose on the side over there. I just passed it. But I don't think you really want to take that because it's on fire. And uh, I don't think many people, you would want one of your teammates to get on there. George would come in really handy right now. He has a giant ass machine gun. Pretty soon I'm going to uh, make a run for it and try to get the ghost. I'm not sure when that exactly is. Right here I speed things up a little bit. Just because uh, I wanted to uh, speed the time up a little bit. Nothing really happens right here, so. Um, this is the uh, last wave. It's uh, pretty easy actually. Uh, kill everybody with your ghost. Don't ram anybody because uh, some of them have the uh, laser thing. Alright, well now here's a cutscene. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. What is this stuff? Knowledge. A birthright from an ancient civilization. This AI is its custodian, and she has chosen you as her couriers. Chosen? By an AI? By this AI, yes. Her measure of you carries as much weight as my own. Perhaps more. You are to take her to the UNSC shipbreaking yard in Azad. There, you'll find a Halcyon-class cruiser waiting to get her off-planet. I understand. Do you? Mankind is outmatched. When Reach falls, and it will fall, our annihilation is all but certain. Unless... we can glean from this artifact a defense against the Covenant. A game-changer on the level of the conical bullet in the 19th century, or faster than light travel in the 23rd. And what if we can't? An apt question, if there were somewhere else to place our hope. There is not. Take it, Lieutenant. She has made her choice. Do you have it? Yes. Say the words, please. I have it. Dr. Halsey, Noble Three will escort you to Castle Base. I require no escort, Commander. June, make sure nothing falls into enemy hands. I'll do what's necessary, sir. Good luck. You too, Rifleman. I need a heading dot. At three kilometers north, Turn right, heading 050. Which leads to? The shipbreaking yards in Azod. The only off-planet extraction point left on this continent. Small-scale air attacks have decimated many convoys en route. An armada of Covenant cruisers is hastening to the site as well. UNSC cruiser Pillar of Autumn is awaiting your arrival. Wouldn't be a noble mission if it were easy. <laughs> 